So today's painting is a bit of an experiment. An experiment in a couple ways. First, with the background, I don't usually do circles. Um, it's usually just the lines. And second, this is obviously a watercolor painting, which means I'm not doing anything very realistic in terms of texture or shading. I'm just doing a very stylized painting, and I've actually never done a watercolor painting of wildlife, especially in this style. I've only ever done dogs and horses, so this I didn't know what to expect when I started this painting. I wasn't quite sure what techniques to use, um, but it was a journey, and I think the end result is delightful. My technique for the orange on the bird is the same as any other time I use my watercolors. I started with very light layers and slowly layered on top of them. However, as you can see, I kind of went outside of my preset lines with some of my shading. Um, and I did that on purpose because as I looked more at the photo of the bird, I noticed he had more variation in his orange that I thought would be very nice to include in my painting. Now, one thing that I would like to mention is that oftentimes when I paint in this style, I will drastically change the color palette of my subject, um, but I didn't actually do that with this painting. This bird is actually mostly black and orange or red anyways, so all I really did was kind of oversaturate his colors and um, add some more interesting tones to what he already had. But I was quite intrigued by this bird's natural coloring, so I wanted to stay closer to that this time. One thing that I would do differently would be to make sure that I was done with all of my painting before adding my marker. Even though I'm using an India ink marker and it says that it's supposed to be permanent um, even if water is added, I noticed that the marker kept bleeding into some of the colors, which on the darker black feathers that was fine, but there's a few spots on his red feathers that became a little murky because of that, so I'm not too pleased with that. But you don't really notice it in the end painting. Just something to note if you are also using an India ink marker. So this is the part of the painting that I got really lost in, um, hence why it kind of has a jump in the footage because I just had to give up on um, taking video of it so that way I could focus on what to do with this kind of lower part of his body and the wing that is um, that you see on the side. Um, so I wasn't quite sure what to do, so <laughs> I actually stopped video editing most of it just so I could think. This is the same size as the horse that I recently did, 8 by 10 inches, but this took um, maybe 8 hours, so it took a little longer, and I think that's just because it was a new subject for me in this style, and I was a little unsure of what to do with areas like his wing. But I really like it, and I hope to do more birds and more wildlife in this style. And I got the date right on this piece.